Nottingham, our city, steeped in rebellion and revolutionary spirit, has long been a beacon of hope for those who dare to defy injustice and those who demand equality. Let us draw some strength from the spirit of our ancestors, from the fearless Chartists who fought tooth and nail for the rights of the working class, to the Luddites who fought the injustices of the Industrial Revolution, all the way through to Brian Clough, a man who not only put this city on the football world map, but who also stood firm in his beliefs as a proud socialist. Cluffy understood that the fight for justice extended far beyond the football pitch, and it's a fight that we must continue today. I want to focus this year on the struggles of our trans youth, who are facing a relentless fight and violence simply for daring to exist as their authentic selves. They are forced to navigate a world that refuses to recognize their identities and a world that is seeking harder and harder to erase them from existence. It is an outrage that cannot and will not be ignored or tolerated. So, let's have a chat about that CAS report. It is a vile assault on our youth dripping with transphobia and ignorance and rejects gender affirming care. It condemns our youth to unnecessary suffering and denies their right to self-identify and is a stark reminder of the discrimination faced by all trans people. It's full of fabricated science, hatred and intolerance which makes an already vulnerable community even more vulnerable. So, to all you young trans people out there, I will say this for you. The road out there is difficult, but you are never alone on this path. Your community loves you, we support you, and we believe your right to live authentically and without fear. Us oldies, you LGBT elders, we've seen this before. We remember Section 28. We remember those days when we had to hide in closets. Transphobia in 2024 is just really poorly recycled homophobia from 1984 and I tell you this for nothing, we're not having it, we've got your back. Yeah. And to echo the words of Mayor Angelou, and yet despite your bitter twisted lies, you may trod us in the very dirt, but we will still rise. The absence of trans people in positions of elected office is a damning indictment of our society's failure to recognise their worth. And as the only trans councillor in the entire Midlands, I will fight for our community's representation until my very last breath. Why? Because trans rights are human rights. And that is the end of that. You can't legislate for us without including us and there will never be representation without our participation. So our media with its sensationist broadcasts and headlines amplifies harmful stereotypes and spreads lies and misinformation about trans people. We are not mere entertainment. We are not to be exploited for profit whilst you just throw away our humanity. But perhaps the most damning of all was the complicity of our former, former Tory government led by a pack of sadists who enjoyed watching our community being stripped of its humanity week by week. But the ballot box is spoken. We are now collectively rejoicing in your political demise because when the Tories choose to collaborate with hate groups, you paid the price. You used us as nothing more than a pawns we were your political football, we were your punching bag. Yeah. And how that spectacularly backfired. Woo! Tory party and Rishi Sunak planted those seeds of hate and you will reap what you sow. 14 years, goodbye, good riddance. But we must keep a close eye on our new Labour Health Minister, West Streeting, who wants to double down on the puberty blockers ban for our trans youth. But we must throw our weight behind fantastic parliamentary allies like Nadia. Because we elect to the Labour government to be better than the Tories on healthcare for trans people, not worse. People of 
Nottingham, it is time to stand up, it's time to be counted, it's time to work for a future where all people, regardless of your gender identity, can live free from fear and discrimination. But you must listen to the voices of young trans people, centre their experiences. They are the experts on their own lives and their voices deserve to be heard. So we must stand together because the energy being put into splitting us apart is beyond our comprehension. There will never be an LGB without the T. So tonight when you go home, remember that today is not just a celebration of who we are, but a declaration of your freedom and of your independence. And to use another Mayor Angelou quote to finish, leave behind those nights of terror and fear into a daybreak that is wonderfully clear, but still we rise. Thank you Nottingham for your amazing support again this year. Hooray, it's the end of that video, so it's time to tempt you with more videos. Please help me, I'm mental and poor, and I need the AdSense. I like to move it, move it, fit, 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 fit.